and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem The Sacred Stones. I imagine you expected us to be starting on the map screen, but just to be more comprehensive, I actually wanted to go over something. So if we go into sound test, we're missing stuff. Um, well, about that. Apparently, I found out that the songs that we're missing are actually 59, 60, and 61 pertaining to the arena, and 64, a game over. I apparently did not get a game over this entire Let's Play. Uh, and now that they're like really high level promotes, that's pretty much impossible to get. Also, all the arenas are destroyed. So, I would have to start a whole new playthrough to complete the sound test, so we're not doing that. Uh, anyway, let's actually get started. So, last time we finished up the Tower of Valny, and this time we're going to explore this unseen area, the Melkine Coast. This is arguably the best level grinding spot in the game, before the finale. At least, it appears to be because I got La Shell up to level, like a level 15, uh, whatever. What, what's her class again? <laughs> Not to sound like I don't know what I'm talking about, but... Uh, I don't quite remember what her character class was. Level 50 Troubadour to a... Uh, well, I should just push the button. Valkyrie. That's what I'm thinking of. Um, this is a foggy chapter. Usually. Sometimes there's not fog, sometimes there is fog, so... Uh, yeah. One time I played it and there wasn't fog and it was actually really easy. Uh, but this time there's fog, so let's actually break out the torch stave, stave, staff, I don't know. Uh, we could also move Colm up here to boost our field vision, FOV. And, uh, these are actually some of the toughest areas in the game. Next to the, ru the Lacto Ruins, of course. Uh, also something I wanted to point out is I've actually already started the Lacto Ruins, uh, in a Restore Point file, so, uh, stats in those videos will actually be the same as starting this video. So just wanted to point that out, um, mostly because I just had a lot of time, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna start working on that. And because you have Restore Points on the Wii, it just made sense to do it that way. So I break it up. Um, sure, because we're not actually using this file for anything, might as well do this. Now, um, the main problem with this level is... It's got a lot of enemies. It's got a lot of enemies, and a lot of them are pretty high level too. It's not just that you've got a lot to deal with, you have like level, you know, 10 upwards, promoted monsters to deal with. Um, so yeah, it's not easy. It's one of the tougher places, but it's frankly one floor, so it's actually not that bad. It's actually easier than the Ruins of Lacto, I'd say. Lacto Ruins, why do I keep getting it backwards? Um, Lara Shell up to the forest and put this torch... Wow. I don't remember this having that much range. Um, okay. Cool. <laughs> don't remember that, but I'll take it. And voila, let it be light. Um, once this guy's down, wow, once this guy's down, I will be sending Tana over here because there's a lot down this coast. I need to stop scrolling this cursor so much, it's kind of. Nauseating, actually. <laughs> or, I, I mean, just like worried about people with motion sickness because sometimes moving the cursor that fast is like, whoa, that's fast. Uh, but it's also less efficient, moving it slowly, so yeah. So, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a really short video, unless I tack on the ruins of. <laughs> the Lacto Ruins. Come on, one of these times I've, I've got to say it correctly. But since with the Lacto Ruins, the problem is. It's long. Like, each floor takes a minimum of 10 minutes. Uh, so about... Um, come on, math, please. Let's see. 10 to 15 minutes times 10, so like 100... So it's like a... Two and a half hours. <laughs> approximately. If each floor takes 15 minutes and there are 10 floors, that's 150 minutes. Um... 
150 minutes so is about two and a half hours. So yeah, I'm gonna cut that down. I'm actually gonna post commentate it because frankly that would be ridiculous having two and a half hours of post game dungeons. Plus, um, you saw how the uh, Tower of Valny went. How I totally ran out of commentary by the uh, not even halfway point. So yeah, uh, I think for everyone's best interest, it would be in everyone's best interest to have it post commentated and sped up. I may not even commentate much, I may just leave it alone. I haven't decided. Uh, okay. We're making good progress in this level though. Problem is, when it's foggy, is you can't tell anything. You can't see anything, so it's like, uh, I don't know where to be, or where anything is to actually fight. Um, I guess I'll just blindly swing and hope for the best. Because these creature levels uh, tend to skew more towards a style of gameplay where you actually find uh, enemies and have to destroy them all, yeah, that does actually create a problem. Because it means that, bluntly put, it's kind of a pain in the butt to actually find anything in the foggy chapter. If you have to just defeat the boss, like the chapter of Riev, um, it's not that bad. Fog and fighting a boss is actually pretty easy. When it gets tough is when you have to, when you have fog and you actually have to defeat everything. That's my least favorite uh, gameplay style in Fire Emblem because you can't even see anything. Unless they're particularly aggressive, you don't actually know where anything is. So it's just kind of annoying. Also, remember how my phone was going off like a couple chapters ago? It stopped doing that. So the whole bell notifications? Yeah, that's really broken actually. Because I've stopped getting notifications. It's like... It'll give me notifications like two or three hours late. Which is kind of the, defeats the whole purpose of the bell. I have no clue what's going on with it. Uh, obviously, as with everything YouTube does, it's in beta. Uh, so yeah, I don't know how to feel about that. Again, I, I legit feel like everything that YouTube does is basically a beta, <laughs> not an actual launch, because that's how it feels. That's how it feels most of the time. Like, they actually are not releasing finished projects half the time. They're just putting, putting out public betas and being like, hey, can you see if this works for us? Because we certainly can. Okay, uh, we're making good time, all things considered. Um, huh. Okay. Yeah, but the problem is, uh, there's a lot of ground to cover. Like that whole watery coast. There's probably monsters behind that, so I am actually going to go out of my way and, um, check all this water. Um, sure. Laracel, Laracel will probably be able to sweep literally everything. Uh, which is actually hilarious because, again, clerics tend to be really difficult units to actually raise up. But once you actually get them to a decent level, so they can, can be a troubadour or a sage, no, huh, that's not right. Why do Troubadours promote into. I don't actually remember. Um, I mean clerics. Yeah, and even though there are priests, most people just refer to the character class as clerics. Yeah, I don't know why, but that seems to be the pattern. Okay, apparently, yeah, priests are technically considered a separate class, so in some games, all characters are priests. Which, to me, makes more sense. Uh, sort of. Huh, apparently in Path of Radiance, Cleric is actually a very exclusive character class. Uh, I won't say more, because spoilers, I suppose. Uh, Bishop! That's the promoted version of a Cleric. Both Priests and Clerics promote to a Bishop. I think. Or, uh, 
whatchamacallit, a Valkyrie, which I think is not what Lara Shell is. I think Lara Shell is a, um, is something different. Yeah, oh wait, or is she a Valkyrie? Or Mage Knight is the other one, so she's a Valkyrie, okay. I'm getting just really confused right now, really turned around. I thought I equipped the Javelin too, apparently not. So, those three can easily handle everything down there, so I'm going to have, actually, wheel them down first, so I can actually move. Okay, that was not the one I was actually trying to target, by the way. Just throwing that out there. Evaldi. Yeah, again, because this isn't technically the file being used for uh, the, ru the Lacto Ruins, I don't really have to worry about weapon usage. For the time being. Uh, so yeah, again, level inconsistencies will be a thing. Uh, apologies in advance, but I just didn't want to have to wait around instead of recording. Make the most of summer vacation. It is weird though going on vacation this late. I guess it's a, a Washington thing, like you go later than most people, but you also start the next quarter later than everyone else too. Like, most people I know are back in school already. Let us see... Siegland? Piece cake? Um... And... And turn. Now... Because the next part will be post-commentated, I will it'll probably feel more like a podcast... Uh, than an actual video, probably. Because I will probably not be talking about the game at all, because there's not much to actually say about uh, Ruins of Lacto, except for certain floors are, have like unique gimmicks. But for the most part, it's pretty boring so far. I'm on floor 4, and yeah, not much has actually happened. I've lost one unit, and that's it. Um, yeah, one unit died because I accidentally positioned him in front of... I, positioned Cormag in front of a ton of archers by accident and then realized like oh wow I that was a bad move like an obvious bad move it's not even like a bad bad move it's like a bad move that I should have known better about even setting up which happens occasionally in Fire Emblem where you do a move and you think oh snap that that was dumb <laughs> that was really dumb that was actually also overkill using the legendary bow on that guy that had 6 HP. Um. Okay. Um, I've been also contemplating new Let's Plays, but I'll talk about that probably more during the podcast episode, as I'll call it. Um, I bought a bunch of games on sale. There's a, a PlayStation Flash sale. Uh, so I bought a bunch of games, and I think I might want to Let's Play a couple of them. I haven't really decided for sure though, because some of the games are like, not that good apparently, just stuff I was curious about that's like $3, um, like there's, I bought one game that's like an adaptation of a cartoon, a cartoon that I've actually never watched, so I'm not sure if Let's Play that game would be a good idea because like I don't know anything about this series, uh, I know people who are really into it, uh, and but they're always so busy. Like I wouldn't ask them to co-com and explain everything to me, <laughs> um, because that'd be the only way I could actually manage right now, unless I watched the series before, which I plan to watch the series eventually. It's just a matter of finding them. It's just difficult to find, uh. DVDs, as everything is moving digital, and not even well. Like, I was looking at this one cartoon, different one, where they were, like, releasing, like, individual episodes on DVD, but they're out of, they're, they're like, okay, they're not out of order, they're technically in order, but they skip around, like, they skip around major story arcs, it's like, how is this acceptable? Um, let's try this. See if this works. 
Okay. Uh, torch staves. I should look up. Okay, MP. Oh, snap. That's why it's so big. Because it's like, um, 39 to 5. It's like a range of 19. So yeah, that explains why the range is so good on that thing. Most definitely uh, explains that. So send all these guys down this coast. Oh, hey, there's the boss. Now this boss is level 15. That is a pretty high level for this point in the game. Also, sometimes I've noticed there are enemies like in this corner. So I'm gonna send Murr into the corner just to scout. Yeah, like adaptations of cartoons almost never end well with game adaptations. Uh, and I hear this one is actually no exception. Uh, it's apparently not a very good game. It's got a lot of, like, talent behind it, though. Like, a very popular studio made the game. Apparently, it just didn't pan out entirely. Yeah. This is kind of a shame. Uh, I wonder if anyone knows what game I'm talking about, actually. Just because of all the context clues. It's made by a popular company. It's just, it was a letdown. It was based on a cartoon. If anyone knows what I'm talking about, I'll be kind of impressed. <laughs> but not really, because that describes also another game recently. Uh, I could give a hint and say it's a platinum game. Meaning that that really narrows it down, because platinum has made like a ton of really terrible cartoon adaptations lately. So yeah, that doesn't narrow it down at all. Okay, Mur up into the corner. And, as expected, there is a spider. Uh, no damage. Okay, we're done here. Wow, that took about 20 minutes. Cool. Filled out an, an entire video from that. Uh, yay. Got a talisman that I can't actually carry. And, voila, we are done. So, next time, we will take on... The Lagto Ruins. And that'll be it for this Let's Play, by the way. Uh, I don't know if I'll take two videos or one video. We'll have to wait and see. But in any case, thank you for watching. And I hope you join me next time for what may be the final episode of Fire Emblem The Sacred Stones.